Hi. In the first week of the MOOC, we'll cover two topics. First, we'll look at various study designs used in nutritional research. And second, we'll learn the basics of our elementary tract. Now, as you can imagine, our current insights into the role of diet and health and disease are based on decades of scientific research. But how do we study the role of food and food components in health? I mean, what types of approaches are available? Well, there are a number of different approaches or study designs that can be used. In this week, you will learn about the major research designs common in nutritional research. After you watch the videos, read the supporting text, and answer the multiple choice questions, you'll be able to explain the difference between an experimental study, also called an intervention study, and an observational study. You will also be able to distinguish between various observational research designs, ecological study, cross-sectional study, case control study, and a cohort study. After you've completed this week, you'll be able to sum up the main strengths and weaknesses of each of these approaches. You will become aware that not all research findings carry the same amount of weight, and that whether a study is considered important or influential mostly depends on the quality of the research design. For instance, if you wanted to study the effect of an artificial sweetener on people's ability to handle sugar, you just can't give the artificial sweetener to seven people for a couple of days and see what happens. You will learn that you need a control group of subjects that get to dummy treatment, also called placebo. Now, the habit of doing careful scientific studies and drawing conclusions based on the results obtained is at the heart of nutritional science. The reason why I'm saying that is because we're constantly exposed to information that's basically based on people making up stuff or based on personal anecdotes that are generalized to the entire population. Now, in the second part of the week, you'll get introduced into the elementary tract or GI tract. Now, the elementary tract is the port of entry of food into our body, so it's important that you know how it functions. You'll watch animations showing the structure and function of the elementary tract, and it also show what happens to our food after consumption. In summary, in this week, you'll become familiar with the main research designs used in nutritional science, and in the second part, you will learn about our elementary tract. You'll be tested at the end, by a section exam. You have a good week.